I'm like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my God, I'm coming with the goodness. Acting like I ain't been in it, like I ain't been pushing my limit. What's crackalackin', everybody? It's me, O Ross, and I'm back with another video. It's fun, it's gonna be a commentary, gonna be a rant gonna be something that I really want to talk about because this is a recent thing that happened to me okay so if you guys don't know what Kijiji is all right it's like Craigslist uh, if you don't know what Craigslist is it's basically like a site where you buy and sell locally okay and so Kijiji I really like Kijiji I like to use it a lot okay but it is always just a clusterfuck of just rees and fucking dicks and uh, just awful fucking terrible people just being fucking idiots complete and utter fucking morons okay for example all right i'm trying to sell uh well i was this was a while ago uh two iphone chargers for five dollars okay for some reason people think that five dollars is enough money for me to go across the town to deliver to them like I would have to pay more in gas. And these fucking, these idiots just are like, well, I'm the only one, right? No, okay, fuck that. No. I, you don't get my fucking charger if you're going to be a fucking dick about it. Like, I'll meet you, maybe. I wouldn't, no, okay, it's fucking like, what the fuck? One time, okay, I was uh, giving away some free wood. And this person literally wanted me to deliver free shit. What the fuck? That's not how it works. I'm not going to spend my money to give you shit. I don't even know you. God damn. Okay. Really recently, this is the one that's ticked me off enough to make this, was uh, me selling a water gun, okay? It's called the Nerf Super Soaker Lightning Storm or some shit. It's worth like $80. I put it for 55 okay? I think about it, all right? I got one person a long time ago, like two or three weeks ago. He's like, Oh, yeah, I'll take it for 40 I'm like, nah, nah, 45 all right? That's a good deal. We'll sit on that. He's like, okay, when can I pick it up? I tell him he can pick it up sometime tomorrow. I'll be home all day. What does he say? Nothing. He never responds. What the fuck is that? Okay, cool. Thanks, guy. All right. Then another person asked, okay? He says, oh, can I pick it up? When can I pick it up? I say, today or tomorrow. I'm home both days. He's like, okay. And then he says he's coming for us, so I give him my address and everything. And then he sends me another thing, and he's like, Nah, oh, sorry, not gonna be able to make it. What the fuck? Why? Okay, whatever, whatever, right? He says, I'll be going down camping. There was something like he was going like a trip down here or something. He wanted to pick it up when he was coming down. So I was like, Alright, sick. When are you gonna do it? Uh, then he messages me something about how, Oh, I don't know if I can make it, man. So I'm thinking, Okay, okay, whatever, whatever, you know. He can't make it. So he gets me to wait till today, Friday, uh, June 1st, or fuck, no, July for Friday, July 1st, right? This was about a week ago that he said this, okay, get it Friday. Well, it's now 1.30, right? He's supposed to come at 11, so obviously he's not showing up. Didn't warn me, didn't say anything, because I had to turn down plans. I had to turn down two different people that wanted to do things today because of this fucking asshole. So fuck this guy, right? He can't even tell me anything. Another time was, um, you know, I was I, I buy a lot of bike parts, bike <coughs> I buy a lot of bike parts off of there, and a lot of times these people will just stop talking to you. They just they just stop. It's like what what the fuck? Like I'm not even I'm not looking for like a friendship or anything. I just want to buy your shit. I want to buy your shit, and you're still not gonna DM me back. Like what the fuck is that shit, guys? I fucking hate Kijiji. I don't know if you guys have it in your area. You probably do if you're from Canada. Um, and I think it might be in the States. I don't know how that works. But god damn, is it terrible. And these people ask so many questions. Like, I don't know how you'd be able to buy a car off there. It would fucking, it'd kill me to do anything like that. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Please leave uh, bad buying and selling stories down below. Um, please check out my other videos. Leave a like and subscribe, comment, whatever. All that stuff. Have a nice day.